Rescue miracle. There's no other word for it in Victoria. A good Samaritan risked his own life to save a woman who was swept away by floodwaters found clinging to a tree in the state's north. Yeah, police say local hero Mitch Smith saw the woman hanging onto a tree and swam out to her several times. He secured her to the tree and stayed with her for up to an hour waiting on emergency services. And Mitch joins us now from Elmore in Victoria. Mitch, what an incredible thing. Just talk us through how this all unfolded. Yeah, well, I sort of went down to the creek because it was at, um, it's the highest I've ever seen it. So I went down to take some pictures and as I got there, there was a car sort of halfway into the flood water and he was out of the car and had his hands on his head and I sort of knew something was wrong. I thought his car had just turned off, which it had due to the flood waters. And then um, he was pointing downstream and, and sort of yelling and as I looked, I could see a car floating away and it was sort of nosed down and sinking at a fairly rapid rate. So I knew that something had to be done and pretty quickly. So, yeah. So what did, just... what did you do there? We're looking at a picture here on screen. You're in that photo in the tree and the woman, yeah. we believe she's in her 70s, is there in yeah. front of you. Just talk yeah, us through so... that and what you did. So I, um, I just took off my boots and jumped in and sort of made my way as far as I could because I knew that I wasn't... The power of the water, I sort of had to be as close to her as I could in, in the way of a line so I could get to her. And then I sort of just jumped in and sort of made my way sort of from tree to tree and sort of mm -hmm. swimming across to her. And then um, once I got to her, she was like rapidly losing sort of strength and she wasn't going to be able to hold on for much longer. Oh. So I knew that I had to get her up in that tree, which I was sort of able to do. And... Um, once I got her in the tree, she was really exhausted, so I knew she was saying she wasn't going to be able to hang on for much longer, and I knew if we both hit the water again, um, I was going to be in a bit of trouble and I was probably not going to be able to rescue her. So I um, made the decision to jump back in and um, sort of got swept downstream a fair distance before I made it back to the bank and then um, ran back up the bank to me ute and um, someone was there by that stage and gave me a ratchet strap and I um, ran back and dove back in and made my way to her oh. and then made a hoist up under her arms and then ratchet strapped her back up to the tree so she wasn't going to take some pressure off her arms so she could, um, yeah, relax a little bit. Oh. Okay. And, and Mitch, how was she at that stage and, and how long did this all take? How long were you in the tree in the water for? Uh, I think from the phone the first phone call i made when i got there i knew i was going to need some help so i called the closest neighbor because i knew that he was going to be there quick um so that was about 7 seven ten that i called him i think and i think i was in the water for an hour and a half maybe True. mitch this is yeah. the most extraordinary story um gosh it must have been frightening did you even have a chance to think about that no nah, i sort of didn't it was all pretty overwhelming there at the end um but, yeah, no, it was um, sort of just instinctive and I'd just hope that someone, if they were capable of doing it, I'd hope they would do it yeah. if it was my grandma in the car too. So. How is she? How was um, she when you were with her and there, when you got rescued? Um, yeah, she was OK as we got rescued. She was really exhausted. She, um, she was sort of didn't really stand up for the whole time after we got rescued. She was sort of just sitting in the bottom of the boat. So, um, But I went and seen her before I left and... She just thanked me and thanked me for saving her life. And, yeah, it was a pretty heavy situation, yeah. yeah. Gee, Mitch, what you've done is phenomenal. Tell me, when you're in that situation, an hour and a half in the tree, in the flood together, what do you talk about? Um, well, we talked about having a drink and she said she doesn't really drink anymore, but she said she'll be happy to have a Baileys with me once... Uh, <laughs> I bet she will. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, Mitch, do you think that you could just organise if any of my loved ones should ever come into strife that you can just be around, if you wouldn't mind? <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Oh, what a Mitch, legend. Yeah, you are a fair income hero, mate. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, let's hope that she's OK too. Uh, thank wow. you for good work. Yeah, amazing, Mitch. Thanks so much for coming on to tell us about it. No, no dramas. Thank you. Oh, there's good people in this world, aren't there? It just reminds you, doesn't it? Oh, what, a, what a beauty. Beautiful. Go on, Mitch. Legend.